Unveiling the truth. Is your title company taking clients away? On this episode of Title Talk, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, that's right, Chief Everything Officer here at Independence Title. And I had actually a very good uh, investor client of ours in the office today, and he started telling me about an uncomfortable feeling he had when he was closing a deal at another title company that he didn't have a choice to pick. And I started asking him, tell me a little bit more about it. And he says, you know, it seems like these title companies that are owned by investors, so maybe the, the wholesaler has an interest in the title company, seems like their clients are repeat buyers of other investors. And it brings up an actual point that I've talked about in other videos where I am a non-competing title company. I don't buy and sell real estate. I do have a real estate license, which I disclose to people, but it's only for my own deals. I don't buy and sell real estate. I don't invest in the local market here. I do not compete with our clients. And it's a very important conversation because we talk about it even with real estate brokers. Are you hanging your license with a broker that competes with you? Or are you hanging your license with a broker that is truly brokering you and they're supporting you and they're guiding you? Or do you feel like they're always working on their own deals and they don't have time for you? So it's very important to same with the title company to work with a title company that doesn't compete with you. Now, what do I mean by that? You go to a lot of these clubs and you see maybe there's a table there and there's a, a title company that's sitting there and that title company is actually an investor as well. They're a wholesaler, maybe a rehabber. When these clients go into that office, so if you're a wholesaler and you send your buyer into a title company that's owned or affiliated with another wholesaler, hmm, people have told me that that buyer has now ended up on that wholesaler's email list. And what does that mean for you? That you could potentially get, get uh, cut out of your next deal. Because if they are now working directly with your buyer, they're cutting you out completely. And I know it to be a fact, there are many title companies in town, not all of us are created equal, but there are some that you hear complaints, like every time you walk in, it seems like there's investors trolling around the office waiting for these buyers to come in. And then, of course, they just naturally introduce themselves, maybe hand them a card, and then they wind up getting on their list. We know as a wholesaler, your buyer's list is your gold, right? Your buyer's list is everything, so you need to protect it at all costs. So all I'm saying is just be very, very careful who you're doing business with. I'll never forget, I looked. This, I was invited to sponsor an event for one of our book launches uh, maybe about a year ago. And there, there was this meetup that was run by an investor and, and uh, another title company. And, and they told me they wanted $5,000 from me to sponsor. And I chuckled a little bit because I knew some other investors that didn't spend $5,000 to sponsor. And when I inquired why, they said, oh, because you're in a competing business as the person that helps put on the event. So I questioned it a little bit and I have everything, uh, a voice clip and a uh, everything in writing and like a text message. And I said, well, what about this person that spoke? Cause he competes with your other partner. He's also an investor and he didn't spend $5,000. I can guarantee it. And it wound up just simply coming from a level of fear. Like you made up this whole entire program that I had to pay $5,000 to be able to sponsor an event. So again, I do business ethically, morally, above board, we don't pay kickbacks, we don't have joint ventures, we don't have affiliates, I don't have partners that are mortgage companies and realtors and investors. I own my business, it's me, I do title, all I do is title every day for 20 years. So again, I ask yourself, as we unveil the truth, is your title company taking your clients away from you? Or are you sending your clients to a title company and you could potentially lose them? Just gives you something to think about on this episode of Title Talk. As always, my name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, Chief Everything Officer here. And as always, I look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Bye-bye for now.